Good afternoon everybody, it's Lynn Fay here from Stamping with Lynn Fay. Oh, what a beautiful sunny day. I'm, I'm literally going to struggle to stop the sun from shining on my work surface, so you'll have to bear with me, but it says it shines on the righteous. I think it kind of got it wrong today. <laughs> but no, as I say, um, what a beautiful day today. I am absolutely boiling. My back door's open and um, the birds are singing. People are in their gardens, which is lovely to hear. And I've been literally working all day. Just finished work um, about 15 minutes ago and decided to um, do a Facebook Live today so that I can enjoy the rest of the weekend. So I'm not seeing people joining. So if you are, well, let's just do that. Yep, so if you are here, let me know leave me a comment and then I'll be able to say hello to you but yes I've got a lovely long weekend coming up I'm not back to work oh hello Rachel I sent your catalogue off to you hello dad <laughs> I sent um, Rachel I sent your catalogue off to you apologies it was a lot um a lot later than I was expecting but it was a bit of a manic week last week so um I'm hoping that you do get it um very shortly and if you could let me know when you do that'd be great and we could chat through anything that you like and I hope that you enjoy drooling over the catalogue so um so yeah dad you're watching as well keeping an eye on me are you see what cards that I can make for you this time are you um hope you've been giving out the ones that I've already sent to you uh dropped at your doorstep for you to hand out to people that have been doing some amazing things for you as well um and that's just a simple way for me to thank people so um so yeah today I thought I would do something that um I've seen a lot of in the in the news and even the prime minister has rainbows in his um down in street windows um good afternoon jane thank you for joining me um so yeah i thought i would do a rainbow themed um card today um i've been using a whole load of different colors um and it's great because we're only using scraps of card um so you can do loads and loads of these cards and knock them out and send them to people who you know bring you joy um, who doesn't love a rainbow? Um, it's bright, it's cheery at this time of, um, well, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> got me emotional then, <coughs> oh, and breathe. <coughs> yeah, so during this time when everybody's doing, <coughs> excuse me, I've put my water in the kitchen. Good afternoon, Barbara. Um, so yes, I just thought it might brighten up people's, um, people's days and I am going to be sending cards out. I'm going to have to get some water. Bear with me one moment. <coughs> okay, I'm coming back. Right, that's not happened to me before. Note to self, keep water by the side of you. Okay, so um, as I said earlier, we're going to be doing a rainbow card. We're going to be using a stamp set uh, sentiment from a, a stamp set that's retiring. So this is, I'll put it down here and then you can see it. So let me flip you around. So bear with me while I find where we are. Hmm. Okay. We may struggle with this sunshine, as I say. Oh, there we go. Just moved you out the sunshine. So this card is going to be using this sentiment from the Painted Harvest stamp set, which I'm gutted is, is retiring um, you can still get it at the moment for £20 in the annual catalogue, uh, page one, 128. Um, it's got, it now it looks like it might just be sunflowers. Oh, look at the lovely rainbow that's coming in on my um, crystal in the window. Oh, there you go. Hello, Mum. <laughs> um, so, yes, yeah, so this looks like a, um, a sunflower, but I've done red poppies. I've done blue flowers. Um it's just so versatile. So if it's something that you like, snap it up before it actually retires, because once it's gone, it's gone. Um, so, yeah, they've got some lovely sentiments on this. This is your kindness means so much more than you will ever know. I'm thankful for you. Gather together and give thanks. Um, it's just so lovely. And it's called a distinctive stamp set because it's already got the shading on it, if you look. So it, it's not stamping wrong when it's not stamping here. Hi, Lexi. Hi, Baz. Oh, and Barbara. Oh, brilliant stuff. I, oh, it's so lovely of you to join me. So, yeah, we're going to use this stamp set. So let me reach across and get 
what I'm going to do. So we're going to use a thick whisper white for the card base. You could use thin whisper white, regular whisper white, but I preferred the um, the thicker whisper white. Um, you cut it um, at 14.9 centimetres and 21 centimetres here and then score it down at 10, 10 and a half centimetres, which gives you your basic card base. OK, so let me grab my one that I've already done. So you can see the score line. I'm going to grab my bone folder and make sure that I score it well, because that is the basis of a good card to stand up. If you score it really well, it stands up. We're also going to be using um, another layer. Oh, did you get did you? Oh, the iPad ran out of juice. We did wonder on the coffee um, afternoon where, where you'd gone. Uh, we did miss you. Thought you'd obviously had enough of us. Um, so we're going to use a layer that's 12 and a half centimetres this way, eight and a half centimetres this way. And what it's going to do is it will go on top of that, that cardstock. Um, and that's in just regular Whisper White because it's quite floppy, but this is not so floppy. So we're going to use that. So let me grab that base so we're going to do that we've also got a piece of whisper it's not whisper white it's a basic black it's just a fraction a fraction bigger um, and I think I worked it out let me flip my cardstock over because it's in centimeters and this is on inches so it's 13 centimeters by nine centimeters this one so if I put it on here, black is 13 by 9 centimetres. Then you can see that. OK, so that's going to go on there and then that's going to go on there. So let's start working with the rainbow. So what I've done is I've got um, all the colours of the rainbow, as you would expect, cut into one centimetre strips. So with your sheet of cardstock, one and then I can show you exactly what I mean. Okay, I've already got some prepared. Um, one sheet of cardstock, just grabbing it. So, this is our A4 cardstock. If you put it in with the long end at the top of the um, trimmer and you put it to the one centimetre mark, let me bring you down. Can you see that? The one centimetre mark is here. I'm going to slide it over. Flip it down. Oh, that's the scoring blade. Pull it down all the way along. Let me come back out again. And you will end up with a one centimetre strip that is the width of the cardstock, which is 21 centimetres. And you can get two cards out of this and possibly two and a little bit. So you do that with all of the cardstock that um, we're working with. And so literally I kept mine together and I put it on here but before I actually did anything I turned it over and got the tear and tear and tape from stamping up put it all the way along here all the way along to the end and you can just tear it with your fingers press it on down and then what you can do is it doesn't matter how long you need it you've always got adhesive on the back of it so this is the second part of mine and I want to do it at an angle. So I'm going to line it up here with my grid paper. Let me come out a little bit. OK, so I'm going to line it up with my grid paper. It doesn't matter where. I'm going to take the back of the that off with the scissors. And then I'm going to line it up with this bit here. Oh, am I going to go a bit lower? Let's have a look. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to go there. So I'm going for that line and the top of that line. OK, so then I've so that's red. Then I'm going with orange. So again, I've done the tape on the back of this one. So I shall take the tape off of the back of this one. They are quite quick and easy to do once you've got the cutting out and the, uh, the stickiness on the back. And then I'm literally butting it up to the next one lining it up. I'm not pushing down because that will go onto my um, grid paper and I won't be able to pull it off. Then I've got yellow because rainbows go uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. 
And when I was at school, it was uh, Roy G. Biff or uh, Robert of York gave battle in vain. You'd have folded every piece. I need... Oh, OK. Let's have a little look. What do you put there? OK, cool. Right, so we're back onto the yellow. Still taking the back off of the tape. OK, I might only pull it a little bit. Lining it up there. And as long as you follow the one in front, you'll get a nice line. So we've done the yellow. So we're doing the green. OK, we'll take all of that off. Flip it over. So we're starting off the page and going off the other side of the page. So red, orange, yellow, green. Nearly on the blue. OK. So flip that off as well. OK. There we are. So blue and indigo and violet. There we go. So I wasn't sure. I've been doing mine that way and that way, but I think it's supposed to be that way and that way. So I'm going to do it this way. So let's take the back off of that one. So this is the indigo and this is the violet. Okay. So it hasn't taken very long at all, as you can see. So again, button it all the way up. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Very gently, oh, I knew the yellow one would rip. Turn it over and with your scissors, you cut all the way along the edge of the white cardstock, cutting off the excess. And it will want to stick to everything that you've got, okay? Turn it around, do exactly the same for the other edge. And it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because we're going to put the black layer on the back of it. So let's hope nothing's stuck to, to it there. So that is my rainbow. We are going to turn it over and I am going to use the tear and tape again. Just put it on the corner. The long ends, turn it round. You could use wet glue, but I'm just showcasing the... Uh, the tear and tape because sometimes it is it's easier and if you're not very good at lining things up straight I would say this is a good tip hiya Carol how are you thanks for joining okay so I'm just peeling off one edge turning it round lifting off the other edge turning it round lifting off the other edge and lifting off the other edge so I've got little bits of the glue, the glue tape um, available. So it doesn't matter which way up I do it because we can turn it round. And you hover, you put your fingers under it and you hover over it. So as soon as you see that you think it might be, I think that's not quite square. Okay, so that works. So you just push down there. Now, if I wanted to move it again, I still can. I can lift it up. But now, just pull the edges off. Pull the edges off again. Push it down. Undo all the edges. And the last one. And that now is my layer. So I'm going to add this with some wet glue to the back of my, or the front of my card. So I'm just putting a little bit making sure I go not too close to the edge oh you've just put your V red decorations up Carol oh how lovely I know there's quite a few people having garden parties and things tomorrow which will be nice um so I'm just laying that hi Tracy gosh I haven't seen you in yonks thank you for finding me I hope you're well feel free to message me and uh, we can have a bit of a chat so rainbow inspired theme what I'm now going to do is, with the sentiment from the Her Painted Harvest, I'm thankful for you, um, I'm going to stamp on some black cardstock. I'm going to pull you down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And because it's black and because we're going to be using white embossing powder, we just want to gently rub it so that if you can see, it's got 
yeah you can it's got a little layer of this what's called an embossing buddy and it's just got um some kind of anti-static in there that stops uh, things from sticking where they shouldn't and I've got my um, white uh, embossing powder already in a a takeaway container because it's easier and I'm using Versamark because it's a clear uh, clear ink and I'm just literally going to tap 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 on my um, my ink pad which is clear you can't see any ink on it but there is ink and I'm literally going to now it doesn't matter whether I do it straight or not because we're cutting this out so I'm just making sure and I might actually do two because then I can show you you can do some in bulk but I will need to carry that over there because we're going over that bit so make sure that if you can see it's just like a watermark there you are and you can use this for watermark which is um which is what it says watermark stamp pad but you can also use it because it's sticky you can use it to put your um embossing powder on so all i'm doing is holding it over the container and then i'm just tap tap tapping it off with the the spoon so i don't want any excess and i can just see there's a bit caught here so i'm just taking my my thumbnail but we are going to be um cutting this out so I'm just going to put the lid back on so that when I get my heat embossing tool out, I won't be spreading that everywhere. Now, it's going to be a little bit noisy, but this is the Stampin' Up! embossing tool. And um, all you do is you start to turn it on. And it's like a hairdryer, but it's a lot hotter than a hairdryer. Um, just waiting for it to warm up a little bit. And then if I get it at the right angle, I'm hoping that you will be able to see as it starts to turn. Yep, can you see it's just starting to go white. So I'm just moving it along a little bit more. It's turning white, a little bit more. It's like magic this is. And once you see it turning completely white, you know it's, it's done. So I'm just gonna turn it round and do it with the other sentiment. So I might as well do more while I've got some in here. Yep, can you see that just turning white? So I'm just moving it slightly up each time. I'm not wafting the, the heat tool over backwards and forwards. I'm just holding it gently and moving it slightly over as it's taking. Okay. Hi, Stacey. Thanks for joining. We're just doing a bit of um, a spot of uh, rainbow card making for the NHS and key workers. So now I'm actually going to cut these out, fussy cut them, but it's not too bad. I've done several of them. So I'm just going to cut one in half, put that one to one side and you can see me. So I'm just going under here. I'm not going in and out of the, the words. I'm just going round them, um, round the F and the bottom of the little F. doesn't have to be perfect, just just gives it a little bit of interest and it's really not doesn't take very long to do so flip round there okay round the top of the thoughtful bit hopefully you can still see what I'm doing okay round here okay round there and we're nearly done. So it's just very roughly fussy cutting around this sentiment, which doesn't take very long, as you can see. So I'm going to put my sentiment here. So I'm just going to quickly grab my dimensionals. Right, OK, I've got them here. So we have got little ones as well. Oh, thanks for the love, Baz. Love you too. Flip your um, sentiment over and then you can put your tiny little mini glue dots. Can you see them? This is, this is the size of our regular ones and this is the size of our mini glue dots. So I'm just putting a few of them on the back of this sentiment because I don't want it to warp and I want it to stand up. Oh, might be just a little bit too close to the edge there press them down flick the backs off 
Good afternoon, Maggie Cobb. Name from Blast from the Past. How are you? Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're well. Uh, let's just take that off. So now I've got this, the backs off of that. I'm just going to line it up there. And that is as quick and simple a card you can make. Now I've done them at diagonal and you can make them at any angle you want because you're in control of it because you just trim down the edges. My first card I made uh, when I was trialing this out, hi Mandy, how are you? Was this one, which is exactly the same, different angle, but I, I didn't actually, I popped it up on dimensionals here, as you can see, but I, I, it was missing something. So it's that pop of black, tiny pop of black that brings it up for me. I mean, you might prefer it this way, um, I like both ways, um, as I say, so that was one of those. And then I've also done it straight. Also done it. Hello, Jenny. Thank you for joining me. So I've done it straight as well, which I can show you. Um, it's exactly the same. But then uh, this lunchtime, I was thinking, well, how do I use all the scraps and things that are left over? Oh, I'm glad you're OK. Oh, you saw me go live. So, oh, I'm glad you did see me go live and drop in. So as I say, I've done several of these. And then this, this lunchtime, I thought, OK, how do I use the scraps? So I've done it in exactly the same way, but um, I've got a little bit and I'll show you what I'm doing. So I'll put those to one side. Um, I've got, let's have a little look. Let's start again. So I'm going to use my tape again and just do it completely. So put my tape on the back of the, the one centimetre strip and you can do them smaller. It's just that I thought for this size card, it looked quite nice with pop of colour. So let's take that off. So I'm going to do it straight. And I know that these are centimetres wide. So on my grid paper, I know that that is one centimetre, two centimetre, three, four, five six nearly seven and I've got one two three four five six seven so let's do it like this pop it over there so that's my red I'm just gonna trim it as I go along then it doesn't all stick to the but I can use the rest of this on another card uh red orange let's have a little look didn't have any with my with my sticky tape on the back. So let's do that again. It doesn't take very long. Okay. So you like in this one, do you think you'll actually recreate it, people? Give me a thumbs up if you do, or a heart if you're gonna do loads. Red, orange, there we go. I'm not seeing any love. Am I boring you? <laughs> I have been told I can. Waffle on for England. When I go quiet, that's when you need to worry. So, red, orange, yellow. Oh, you will recreate it, will you, Rachel? Oh, that's lovely. Good stuff. Right, so I'm just doing it over here. Oh, I'm getting thumbs up. Yep, recreate it. Any hearts that you'll do mass production of them? Or do you think once you've done one, you're fed up? <laughs> I love it. I'm going to be doing loads of these. Red, orange, yellow, green. And this tape is just the perfect size for it. So um, let's do this. Okay. Oh, got a pigeon landing in my garden going into the bird bath. So if you hear loads of splashing, that's what it'll be. So flip that off there. Red, orange, yellow, green. Okay, flip that off the edge there. Green. Orange, yellow, green, blue. We've got a little bit left over here. You can use up all your scraps with this, it's perfect. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. <laughs> I'll be saying this in my sleep tonight, even though I've done my Facebook Live with it, it'll be like, oh, be like a little mantra. Okay, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So let's put some tape on the back of these ones. You could do this as a gift tag as well, which is what I was thinking at lunchtime when I was having a little look at the scraps and things, thinking, OK, well, you could do a gift tag. Um, and that's what made me think then I could do this on the top of a 
the card with the leftover bits and pieces. So let me take that bit off. Okay, indigo. Here we go. Take that one off. Trim that off. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Here we go. Last bit. There we are. And trim that bit off. Okay, so I've still got all of that left to use on another card. So don't throw it away. Just double checking. So that's come out perfectly. So I can just trim off the edge. And then I can use some scrap black card. So all I'm doing is I'm just going to turn it over. Use some wet glue, some Tombow. Okay, flip it over. Sometimes I don't measure things, I do things by eye. If anybody knows me, no, I'll do it this way. So I'm just going to put a pop of colour over it. With the glue, you've got wiggle room until it's actually down. And um, I've got a little stamping trimmer. And I can go in here and just literally trim off. Trim off a little bit more that way and a little bit more that way. Might just trim. There we go. Right, so so that's my topper um, for another card. So let me grab my card stock, my card base, and score it. Oh, it's got stuck. Flip it over, put some more glue on here. And I did it in that centre a bit last time. Might put it up a little bit higher. And again, I've got wiggle room. And with the second sentiment that I cut before, I can actually quickly fussy cut that again. So just very, very quickly around under here. You're all very quiet, are you all okay? Haven't lost you. Haven't made you all fall asleep. Okay, get rid of that. Flip it, oh, sorry, I'm off the camera again. Flip it round there. And I'm moving the paper, not the scissors. The scissors are staying. Yeah, you're good, Rachel. Glad I'm glad somebody's still awake, I haven't bored you. Senseless. I'm normally one that does lots and lots and lots of stamping, so this feels very strange for me, but it's strange time, so you have to push yourself out of the comfort zone and do something different, which is the whole point of me doing these Facebook Lives as well. So as long as you like them, I will keep doing them. So um, I'm just going to flip them over and use some more mini dimensionals. Here we go. Now, because this is probably longer yeah, this is longer. I only need to go up to here with my dimensionals. Otherwise, let's have a little look. I might... Yeah, because it's higher here, so I might need to... No, I'm going to leave it like that. You're thinking, what is she on about? It's because we might need two, dim oh, two high dimensionals rather than one, but I think, I think we'll get away with just the ones we've got here. Okay, flip it over. I like it over like the blue, the orange and the uh, yellow. So I'm just going to put it there. This bit, as I say, is flopping. So I like that. So that's another version of the um, diagonal and the straight. What do you think? Do you like them? I think they're lovely. I'm going to be sending these to some of my um, NHS uh, friends and frontline uh, key workers who are doing an amazing job at the moment. I absolutely adore the brightness, the cheerfulness, and I am thankful for them. So, um, so yes, um, it's a simple, quick card. It's a bit faffy, but do you know what? I absolutely adore it. So let me flip you round. Actually, I'm just going to take a quick picture. There we are, and I'm just going to flip you back round. Oh, that's warm in here. You can see my, my glowing cheeks. So, um, 
yeah so that's pretty much uh, what I was wanting to do today I've got lots and lots and lots of scraps still if I show you to do lots more cards I absolutely adore the brightness of it um, and you can adapt it for you know um, anything really but I just love the, the brightness of it so oh, we've got a lovely long weekend coming up so I should be crafting my little heart out and when I'm not crafting I shall probably be crocheting as well <laughs> because I absolutely adore making all these teddy bears and bunny rabbits and uh, ones and oh and before I forget the little black pop of colour around this was Ashley's design um, I was making this last night while I was on a face, uh, FaceTime with a friend and that one, she said it's missing a black bit. Put a little bit of black around it. I promised her I would give her credit for it, otherwise she's going to slap me when she sees me next. I'd like to see her try. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I said I would give a shout out to Ashley, um, who's also part of my team. Um, she's adorable. She's up in Cheshire and uh, we craft an awful lot via FaceTime. So the distance doesn't doesn't stop us from getting together um the new uh, stamping up catalog is coming out on the 2nd of june or 3rd of june um so if you aren't on my mailing list or you don't know if you are um please drop me an email uh, or private message me and ask me to send you a catalog uh, and I'll send that out free of charge for you um, and then um, there's some lovely things coming in there's some lovely things that are staying from this current catalog and it's going into the next catalog which I'm really pleased about um, because some of them I've used so much and some of them I haven't had a chance to use yet so I'm really really pleased um, it's going to be quite floral lovely new in colours um, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited for it. So um, as soon as as soon as we get to play with the products, then I'll obviously be sharing some bits and pieces. But yeah, if you if you'd like to place an order or you'd like to ask any questions, just pop me a message, send me an email, reply back on here, and I will do my very best to get back to you. Um, I may well end up doing another Facebook Live while I'm still off because I'm off until Wednesday. I go back to work on Wednesday. Um, so I'll put another message on my Facebook just to show you that I am going to do it. So if, you, if you've if you missed it and you're watching it from the live, put a notification on so that um, you don't miss any, any time I go live. It will it'll message you. Um, I'm so chuffed that I've got so many people joining today. Thank you for all of the love. I hope you like the cards. Um, stay safe, look after yourself and uh, happy VE day for tomorrow. And uh, I'll catch up with you next week, maybe. So um, thanks for joining me. Lots of love. Take care. Bye.